Life Audio. Thank you for listening to your daily prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. Prayer for Witnessing, written and read by Chris Ite. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. John chapter 1, verses 6 to 9. What is the difference between true light and false light? I found myself considering this question today. I was standing at the mouth of a small, tranquil river, and I enjoyed the gentle sunlight, freckled upon the surface of the slow-paced rapids. Yet the Lord lovingly reminded me that the light on those brown waters was merely an illusion. It was a reflection, not really there. How do we understand the meaning of true light, then? We can't do so by compiling a a list of related adjectives, The answer seems undefinable, but I think the truth is simply summarized in two words. Know him. Knowing Jesus means knowing life in all its fullness. Our deep bond with the Lord, made possible because of Calvary, changes everything. His love transforms us and radically alters what we do with our lives. Many years ago, I went on a short mission trip to help street children in Brazil. It was an eye-opening experience seeing these youngsters in dire situations. One night, some of us accompanied two men on a night journey to locate boys and girls in vulnerable situations and check on their welfare. I have never forgotten the determination of those men to save the children. They had night finder goggles and used them to observe groups of boys and girls at a distance, huddled together around fires lit on the pavement to keep warm. Solvent abuse was evident, and the stench of glue coming from the children was overwhelming when a few emerged from the shadows to greet us. It took a lot of bravery to go into those dark neighbourhoods on gang territory, but the men had this incredible sense of calm. They were inflexible in their quest to rescue young people, and I found it very challenging. The motivation for their mission was simply Jesus. That's what happens when we understand that he is the true light. There was a man woman sent from God whose name was put your own name in there we are called to witness to Christ just as John was and just as those two Brazilian men were I'm so glad that the calling in my own life isn't to do with witnessing about myself I fail but I am called instead to witness about Jesus his love is all encompassing durable and never fails as we enjoy the light of his presence Let's make room for others to enjoy him too. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation, Jesus once told his disciples. That was a command, not a suggestion. Let's pray. God my Father, my Saviour and Holy Spirit with me. You are the true light, as the Bible proclaims. I am so glad to know you, and it is a privilege to be given the task of making you known to others. Refresh me today as I thank you for the cross and resurrection and for the gift of yourself which saved me. Your light thrills me, and I love to dwell with you. When I awake, and when I am asleep, when I am busy and when I am quiet, when I am with others and when I am alone, 
The world is hurting, as you know, dear Lord. Forgive me for being distracted by things that aren't so important. I say to myself this day, take any opportunity to reach others with Christ's love. I commit myself again, right now, to witness about you, the true light. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Have you ever found yourself in a moment with your loved ones where you were there, but you weren't all there? Let's be honest. We've all given our leftovers to our biggest fans instead of our best. For Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, marriage and leadership coaches and hosts of the Famous at Home podcast. With a realistic, grace-filled look at the struggles families face, we cover topics designed to help you become a rock star under your roof, set healthy rhythms between work and home, and build a rock-solid marriage. Because the greatest red carpet you'll ever walk is through your front door.